Hey guys, Ben here. Now we've come down into the art room today because we're not talking heat pressing, but what we're talking about is color in your artwork. Knowing the color that's in your file, whether you're sending transfers to us to be produced for you, or you're printing them your own, in your own shop there, or you're sending things like business cards and whatnot out for printing with others. Good little tip is to know the type of color that is in your file. Now, all wide format printers all work on CMYK, that's cyan, magenta, yellow and black, a bit like the printer that you've got in your home office or in something like that, like the laser or the inkjet, they work on CMYK. Now, lots of files and sometimes their files that we're receiving are saved in what they call RGB, which is red, green and blue. Now red, green and blue is used purely for computer graphics. So what you see on your monitor and it's often backlit and it's really nice and bright. Now if you send a file that is RGB in colour and you send it to us or somebody else or you go to print it, there's a conversion that happens from RGB to CMYK. And just so that you know, the colours will change. It's the same with Pantone as well. Now Pantone is often most widely recognized as that standard of color. We all have our Pantone books as well so that we can match across. But Pantone in art files as well needs to be converted to CMYK before it's printed. Now if you are unsure about the color that's in your file, you're looking at a color that's on your computer screen wondering if it can be printed, even if you print it out onto an office computer or something like office printer, you might find what color comes out looks completely different to your computer screen. Just remember CMYK can't do those bright fluoros and things like that, can't do golds and silver metallics and things like that as well. So just remember colors can't be too fluoro, um, special effects won't also be printable when digital. Guys, if you ever want to know what the color looks like from us, one of our processes is we take everybody's files and we convert it to CMYK right here in the pre-press room. It's why I've come down here. They do it here and that's the art approval that gets sent to you to say this is what your art's gonna look like when it goes into production. Now, if it looks a little bit different to your expectation, that's because of that conversion to CMYK. So guys, if you've got any questions, reach out to us. Just know that always best files saved in CMYK are always the best file type to send through. If they're in Pantone, it's gonna get converted here to CMYK and the color might change slightly. If it's in RGB, it's also going to be converted to CMYK and that's done here. At least you'll get that art confirmation in CMYK from us out to you. So that's the closest representation of what our printers are going to print it like because it's in the same colour language. Guys, any more questions around colour and the file colour that's in your jobs, uh, give us a call, shoot us an email, reach out to us via our website.